What is going on guys? I am the White Guy and today we've got a very different reflex video. Um, I, I've been kicking this idea around for a while and I want to say I posted a couple videos on it already. But um, this is more or less, we, we've got the uh, short course truck type deal or the Sport 2 truck in reflex and we're taking along some Nationals tracks because we're, we're playing on PC here so we can do some things with the game you can't really normally do with the game. And one of those being you can take any vehicle you want on any stock game map that you want. Hence, we now have a sport truck on this. And I, I guess we're going to title this video like Reflex Short Course, which is kind of like, since you can't normally do this in the game, I'd, I'd, I'd put this on sort of a level with the custom tracks of just, you know, driving trucks around on nationals and supercross tracks and seeing if, if they actually work and trying to race like it's a short course track. Uh, if you've never seen short course racing either a i've got i should have videos about that coming out pretty soon or b i uh, just googled it on youtube really quick it's worth a watch it's like uh short course racing is kind of like if you take a really 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 well built long travel off-road racing truck and race supercross with it's more or less. it's like supercross but with trucks instead of motorcycles is kind of the point of that so um in this video i guess we're just gonna try and do some laps here of the pine top stock track with the sport truck and see how well this goes we might have over jumped that a bit Ooh, we've got that one just a little bit of case action going on gonna case that pretty hard and run you case this one uh, let me know what you guys think because this is um potentially a new video series and reflex here to try and keep some more content coming while we're waiting when, when there's not custom tracks to do videos about because like there can't there's no guarantee there always will be still people making custom tracks but in the meantime, we could try and see if you guys are interested in this. Um, put, let me know in the comments, and uh, we'll use the like and dislike button too. If you, if you don't want to see the series, dislike it if you think this is a dumb idea and I should just stop it after this video and never do it again. And drop a like if you do want to see it again, and then probably leave some comments down if you want to see this again too. And uh, I can switch over to the Doom Buggy in a bit and uh, whatnot just to see how things play around here. We'll see if we can go for um, decent laps here. You can probably base the lap times based on how long the video is and when it crosses the starting gates because you have to do this all in free ride because uh, the way this mod works it doesn't let you take trophy trucks into the actual races it just lets you use any it just lets you do a free ride on any map you want or any stock map you want you can do a free ride on and because of that we can pick whatever vehicle we want which is how we got the sport truck here which I already explained but uh, we're going to try and focus on actually doing some quality racing now and we overshot that a bit off into the crowd have to brake check ourselves to run lose all of our traction over that we can't really whip the trucks around or try and redirect their where they're flying once i'm already in the air so we'll just have to make the best of it we'll try and hit the triple up there we go and then we can step up and tire tap up there we go cut over some tough blocks there let's try and get the back end swing out a little wide can do a little bit of first personing in the truck just for fun to see what this looks like as we get up really close to the ground you launch up to the spectators there and uh how do we get out of the cameras that at one yeah there we go all right now just for fun can we actually hit this doing this camera there we go that'll that's an interesting looking um, i don't know to me that just kind of looks neat when you just like see weird angles in the trucks we'll, we'll see what that turns out to be like at three minutes and 30 seconds into the video so i can make a mental note of that to hopefully remember after i record the video and um shout out to if you recognize what that little, the little view jump right there is for or points to the comments to somebody who can identify that what, what was going on there i think you might be able to figure it out if you uh think just a little bit because I, I try to be kind i'm kind of obvious about when that happens and yeah it just makes things easier and you can keep up with daily uploads easier when this isn't a full-time thing and it's easier if i can if i can do anything to really streamline the process of making videos i try to do that because it, if I, it, it just it makes daily uploads a lot easier to maintain if i can just do little things to speed up the process because i'm not doing this as a full-time job right now it's just like it, it's a hobby and it's just kind of neat the channel's growing a lot right now if it if it keeps going the way it's growing, it's been growing for like the last few days now, or a few, or like last week maybe. Uh, we're getting a lot of new subscribers like crazy right now though. If it keeps going that way, it would be neat if, if it kept going like that for a year. This could potentially turn into a full-time thing, but um, I don't know how possible because I, I, I honestly am. Ex I'm gonna try and keep up with the daily uploads and keep stuff coming up as I po as much as I possibly can. But I feel like this this whole growth spurt we're gonna hit's gonna die out at some point, and we're not gonna be able to keep it going. But if it does keep going. 
there's the real possibility that this thing could turn into a full-time, if like, it keeps growing at this rate for a year or two, this could eventually turn into a full-time thing, which would be pretty freaking sweet. But, um, like, before the whole adpocalypse thing happened with YouTube, if you had, like, 100,000 subscribers and you say you, you could potentially, depending on how many of them are actually active and watch all your videos, you could potentially do that as a full-time job. It was about, there was, like, 100,000 was kind of the number where you could be kind of iffy about that. And now, since the whole adpocalypse thing, that, that number's probably roughly doubled since then, which... Yeah, it's kind of... Oh, we're getting all caddy wampus up. Wait, can we actually just drive over here? Hold on. We're not gonna get, I thought we'd get reset for going over the boundaries, but apparently not. Oh, no, there he goes. Now it reset us. So we can only go so far through there before the game starts to get angry at us trying to carve out some new lines. Like, where's the track even at right now? Just behind us? Okay, yeah, it's just behind us. That's why we're having so many issues finding the track. Uh, it's going here. It's trying to. It's trying to. Uh, actually, we'll get, we'll get it over the finish line here, over the big send it city jump, and then we'll switch over to the dune buggy and see if that seems to work any smoother than the sport truck has been when we were in try hard mode. So we can dump the clutch right there to get the back end. Yeah, there we go. I was trying to remember because on some of the games, the clutches and the brakes are on different spots. It just confuses me. We'll do a little whip glitch in the truck right there. Of course, that's, that was a joke, but I, I actually don't, I don't know if that works in the trucks, it could. I, I doubt it, but there's a small chance. So we'll send it over the finish line here, see if we can actually make it over this way, which I think we will, judging by the um, amount of height we got. Ooh, just barely dodged that little block right there, so we can go into the vehicle list. And scroll down, scroll down, scroll down. Here we go, let's do some laps in the dune buggy now, see how well this goes for us. There we go. Cut in hard to the right. We should, we should have this track figured out by now. And if it's anything like the Supercross tracks, the buggies seem to handle running these tracks a lot better than the trucks do. Which it seems like so far, buggy is definitely hands down doing better. The suspension just seems to travel better and handle bumps better. It turns better, it accelerates better, and you can actually like, clear jumps. We're not going to get the triple in there, but we're, we can tire tap over and out. Should be able to keep our... So hopefully we can keep it in one piece over the next two jumps here. We're doing good so far. It's just not let it go flying too far that way. Yep, there we go. This is see this is actually going really smoothly now. This this could be a, this would be really fun if you could do a multiplayer race on this with buggies, but uh I don't know of any way to make this raceable with buggies. I don't know if that's I don't think that's even possible to do, but look how smooth it is. Yeah, we didn't even hit that line of the truck at all yet, but we got the first try on the buggy it just bounced right on up. It's actually clearing all of the jumps. Just like the bikes do. Ooh, cut in. Okay, okay, we're, we're doing good, we're doing good, we're doing good. We just gotta make it down the hill. Alright, now we can hopefully cut in right. Oh, doing barrel rolls. And we're crashing, and we're still crashing. Nice. Oh, oh, can we rock, can we rock bounce our way up there? No, apparently not. Alright, let's try and see. How many comments we can? How many commenters can we make angry by trying to drive this in this camera? Let's, let, let's see. I see one angry comment. I see two angry comment. Yeah. Right. Anyway, let's hopefully point it back that way and get it going through the track correctly. All right, so we point like that. That was a good jump. That was also a good jump. Okay, one of those one of those will work between that and the truck. So three minutes thirty seconds and eight minutes thirty seconds. Mental notes. Mental notes are being taken right now. Right. Anyway, now that we've broken off all the body panels to lose some weight for um that was actually just completely planned constructional weight loss of the vehicle. It's weight reduction, so the vehicle goes faster. If I if you didn't yeah, that that's what that was. It's like rust. It's just it's just the vehicle is doing some weight reduction so that it can go faster. That's all that's happening. Alright, so, send it off of this. Are we going to jump just as far as the trucks? Sport trucks seem to like sending it a little bit further. Can we... Oh, that might be why it's all in acceleration. So, if we turn that down to top speed a little bit, we might be able to clear the finish line next lap. We'll see how that goes. Just keep in the throttle pin. Slide it through the corner. Nicely done there. I, this buggy is handling so much better. It just it effortlessly just glides through all of that. Be willing to bet this would be faster than the bikes as far as lap times go. So it seems like it's handling this track a lot faster than the bikes could. So you, like, you might lose a little bit of time in the corners, but you more than make up for that anytime the track straightens out. You're going so much faster. 
See, the, look, you're not carrying this much speed through those corners with the bikes. You're just not. You just gotta keep it under control through the whoops and you're fine. Like, yeah, the bikes are definitely not going this fast. That was a really good run through that corner. We didn't lose too much speed on the off camber. And if we can get that turned around, yeah, we're looking like we're in good shape. Can we hit the tr Yes, we can triple step up. The trucks would not like that. The trucks would not do that jump. But the buggy has done that perfectly two out of two times we've hit it. All right, so back to the little tabletop here. We should be able to bounce over that. That's nice and easy to done. We can air weed the buggy out right there. Try and ride down in the wheelie form. And we'll try and wheelie this one out too if we can get the ground running. Nope, apparently not. You have to let off the gas a bit. We can try whip the buggy around right there like we just did in the last second. If you let off the gas and flick the wheels, you can whip the back end out to line it up for the corner. Hit the double. Yes, there we go. We can double over that and double out. Yes, this actually is rhythming really smoothly. This is, this is actually a lot of fun. I'm glad, I'm glad I did this video. Hopefully you guys are enjoying something a little bit different on the channel here. I know I'm actually really enjoying playing this right now. This is something that I, like you, you normally can't really do in Reflex. There really aren't too many other games out there that's kind of where you can kind of th you can take a dune buggy down a motocross nationals track and race it like a short course. There's just not that many way games out there you can do this. Well, we'll just go ahead and slap that one on down. And we're about out of time for this video, so thank you guys very much for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed it. If you have any feedback, suggestions, comments, concerns, any of that, let me know in the comments. I'd be happy to see it. And I just want to know if this is a good series. Do we keep doing this or do we not? Because I have fun with this and I hope you guys enjoyed it too. See you later.